So in this exercise, we select all this text below and we put it into two columns. And then we are going to place the cursor in front of the red and we are going to make a column break here. And I think the reason I'm showing this is because I found this very confusing when I learned because the little picture, when we go to breaks, this little picture makes it look like it will take the text and put it beginning in the next column. And over and over again, we would come up against this, well, what if we want to have this at the top of the column? There's no column to go to. And so what I want you to know is that these last two uh, lines of black text will get pushed backward. So I know in the diagram for column breaks, it looks like it always pushes it to the next column. But when you don't have a next column to go to, it will push the text just to the top of the column and move some of the text back. So have a look at that. Cursors here, breaks, column break. Okay, so this is how you can get this to the top of the column and push some back into the first column.